Hey guys, this is Joel of Punchers Paintball. Today we have a special guest here. This is Tyler, and he is a Shocker specialist, so we are including him in this video. We are talking over the Shocker XLS versus the brand new Shocker Amp. If you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and head on over to PunishersPB.com to shop for all your Shocker needs today. Alrighty guys, so here we have a Punisher's Edition Shocker XLS. Tyler, what do you got? I got the brand new blue Shocker amp that was just released. Alright, so we're going to talk over some of the differences when it comes to the Shocker XLS, which is the uh, second to last generation now that the Shocker amp is officially out in circulation. We're going to go over some differences and similarities between the two. Um, so we are going to start with the barrel system. So Tyler, I'll let you lead off. Um, barrel system, again, same tried true mm -hmm. XL barrel system, um, all American tip, XL back, um, XL insert, um, same as the XLSs. Correct. Um, I don't see very much of improving off of it. It's, it's a great system, um, been used for years and years and years. Um, I still use it. Um, Short of that, I mean, it's just a, it's a great system that's pretty much, I think, almost everyone has a Freak system in right. their gear bag. Right, yeah, so Freak XL, 687 insert, nothing nothing crazy about mm -hmm. either one of that. Same tip and everything else like that. So same exact thing when it comes to the barrel system. Uh, first thing that they've changed from the Shocker Amp as compared to the XLS is the difference in the regulator grip. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to talk about that a little bit, Tyler? So. The amp is actually a lot more refined. It's a lot thinner. Um, I think it feels better. Again, I RSX, XLS, Adrenaline. I mean, even just looking at yours there, I mean, you, it's a significant difference um, in actual size. Yeah. Um, but I think it adds, I feel like I have more control over it and it feels a lot more comfortable to me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'll say this. Me personally, I'm a bigger guy, so I actually liked the thickness of the old grips but what's cool is what shocker did do is they thinned it down but it, the actual regulator is the same so when it comes to if you want to put the old style grips on from like the, your xls on this you can't are on the amp excuse me you can which is really nice so if you like that thicker grip you can uh, go with that or if you like the thinner more refined grip of the amp you can also do that so all right let's go into the big differences trigger frame so yeah so you can see they cut down a lot um it's not a angle down it's more of a flat angle here mm -hmm. um yep mine's more angled and it has a rounded so yours also has a little bit of a rounded yeah. se section there but yours is also a little wider in the actual um trigger guard itself that is correct yes um, it seems like any bit of milling they could get off of this to make it light mm -hmm. they did um mm -hmm. which i love um the trigger itself is a little different um I love the trigger on this. Again, it's it's had three hoppers through it, um, and it feels great. Yeah, I, I personally, I like the blade trigger more than the sight trigger. Um, that was the first thing, when, the first time I ever shot the amp, I noticed a big difference on the, how much I like that. Um, you know, I think that there's a little bit more diff or room when it comes to the trigger mm -hmm. frame on that as compared to the XLS. Um, and I like the fact that they kept the quick change as far as this one Allen key right here. Yeah. You just back that out to swap out your triggers and everything else like that. From the way I understand it, they are not going to be compatible as far as um, your XLS trigger is not going mm -hmm. to fit in the amp. Um, the other big difference, the screws. When it comes to the screws, basically there are two screws that you have to use to take off your um, trigger frame on the XLS with you. I have the one in the back. Yep, and it's a latch system. So basically all you have to do is with this one, which we're gonna actually demonstrate to you right now, we're gonna do a little comparison here as far as how quick is it to take those off. So we'll be right back. We're gonna grab Allen keys real quick. Alrighty guys, so we are going to start taking these apart. So hold on, um, hold on now. Here's how we're gonna do it. Screws down. Guns down on the table, hands flat. Okay. We got a timer here. So what are we doing? Taking the trigger frame off? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. So here's what, so basically we're going to show the difference in how long does it take 
One thing that I like to mention is that is completely wireless. So the first thing I might have to do with the XLS is take the trigger frame off to disconnect the solenoid, mm -hmm. whereas Tyler doesn't even have to do that. Mm -hmm. So here we go, we're gonna start it. Okay, Ready? go ahead, Doug. Hands down on the table. Three, two, one, go. All right, I'm not gonna rush because I already know Tyler's gonna be, <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. I'll stop the timer when somebody puts hands down on the table again. <laughs> oh, we're doing this for real. I mean, he's, yeah, <laughs> he's not being beat. All right, guys. 21.29 <laughs> seconds. And again, okay. this is literally the first time that this trigger frame has been off this gun. I literally just got it like an hour ago. Yeah. <laughs> so just to show you guys, I'm going to continue to take off my. Uh, I'm going to continue to take off my trigger frame just to show you guys. The biggest difference the shockers improved is the fact that you have all these. You have all these wires here when it comes to um, taking it off. Whereas with with the amp, mm -hmm. you literally just have to do that one screw. You don't even have to worry about taking any of the screws off. So now that I've taken my three grip screws off on my uh, grips, I'm also going to have to take the actual uh, complete thing apart. So that's gonna take another, you know, at least twice the time, right? Yeah. And one thing I like to point out too is, um, like they did with Lux, um, they did the gold contacts. You don't have as much corrosion um, as some others. Um, it just makes it a lot easier, quicker, um, I like what they did, bringing it over to the Shocker platform. And where is, so it's on the back, so your screw to access that is on the back, which I think is ingenious because I'll, I'll say this, the forward screw next to the reg on the XLS is a little bit more difficult to access as compared to the mm -hmm. um, back portion. So that's definitely a nice part there that they didn't put it um, someplace else. All right, so there you guys have it. Um, so I have my three trigger or three grip screws off as well as the trigger frame. But then on top of that, when I take this off, I also have to worry about, I gotta pull my rig down. I also like to point out I already have my solenoid off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so major difference is right there. All right, so there you guys have it. I am, just because I don't wanna go through the work of it, if you had to take this completely apart to swatch out, swap out your CBO frame, you would have to take all this apart and then actually take your solenoid off as well. That's one major improvement source of the amp as compared to the XLS is that you already did it. Yeah. Like, like I mean, you're done. <laughs> like you're done. Mine's you off, it's back installed and yeah. I'm, I'm ready to go. Yeah, and you can be swapping out your CC frame, which is the yep. classic conversion frame. Yes, which which I'm is very excited about. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is That's going to be the mechanical version as compared to the XLS, which is the CBL frame. But obviously, as you can see right there, guys, major difference in time frame when it comes to that. So, all right, so there we have that. Uh, the other thing that you had mentioned that we should point out mm -hmm. is that with the amp, a, the solenoid, yes. right? How yep. quick and easy it is to take the solenoid off. Okay, let's talk about the ASA knob and let's talk about the 9-volt. Mm -hmm. So one thing, um, when the when they first started releasing pictures of the amp and everybody's seen the pictures down in Texas, everything else, one thing that I had to worry about was the knob. Um, the XLS knob was very, sh I don't want to say sharp, but it was a lot more um, edged. With this, they actually rounded it off. Um, so they did change the ASA knob without doing too much to make it completely different, mm -hmm. um, which I do like. Um, and then just one small little detail. I mean, all the grooves, I mean, everything they did to it was just amazing. Even clear up to the um, clamping feet neck, they put the grooves in, um, just minor little details that they put into this uh, marker. Something that you had noticed mm -hmm. that I didn't notice is the nine volt battery and and major issue with uh, the XLSs was that people would either cramp the I wires, which is also something that we should point out. Tyler, can you real quick before you put it back together, mm -hmm. can you show them the I wires uh, and exactly where they start on that? So the actual I wires start here. We go up to this little um, plug here, and then it actually transfers back. Um, to these little pins that are on here, which again then goes into your pins, making it completely wireless between the frame and the body of the marker. 
Yeah, so that's a major difference. There was a lot of issues with people pinching their eye wires with the XLUS. You're not going to have that issue with the amp, so that's also mm -hmm. a nice feature. So all in all, you've got a toolless solenoid as a disassembly with the amp as compared to not having that with the XLS. Um, obviously, it's a lot quicker to switch out between mechanical as well as um, back to electronic because you have the ability to only take off the uh, trigger frame with one screw on the amp as compared to two with the XLS. And then the third thing is it's it's basically completely wireless, right? Yes. So you're not having to worry about battery harnesses and everything else mm -hmm. like that. So it's gonna be a lot simpler uh, to put it back, to take it apart, put it back together without ever having to worry about wires, which right. is really nice. And as you can see, I'm still struggling to put this thing back together. So, um, so obviously, uh, Q beat, beat me on this. So, Q, uh, you talked about the ASA knob already. What yes. about the bolt system? Let's let's talk about that. Um, a little bit. So obviously, the bolt system is drastically different. Um, makes it a lot more efficient. Was it down to 105? Yeah, I think they 105 to 110. 105 yeah. to 110, um, which is a major difference from the previous. I believe it was 165. Uh, they said 180, I think is what it was advertised as. So somewhere in that range, 165 to 180. So, um, so I mean, main reason being, obviously the moving mass is a lot less with the amp as compared to the XLS. As you can see there, it's literally like the bolt tip, yeah, <laughs> right, as compared to the entire bolt tail with the XLS. Um, so major differences in, in efficiency, right? Mm -hmm. um, integrated QEV, which makes it really quick to shoot and everything else like that. So efficiency wise, we've already done efficiency tests. It was 12 pods yeah. on the 68, yep. which is crazy. Um, we'll do an efficiency test on the Shocker XLS to compare, but I guarantee you it's not gonna be nearly as efficient. Um, so yeah, overall the bullet system. what do you think of the bullet system, Q? Um, I love it. Um, it shot great. It's smooth without getting rid of what I would call the Shocker feel. Yeah. Um, and the kick that I got out of like the XLS or some of the other markers that I've shot is that you have a little bit of barrel rise. This almost comes, you're coming straight back. You can hold on target a lot easier um, when shooting and ramping. Okay, okay, great. Um, as far as the eye covers go, the eye covers are basically the same. There's a little bit difference in the milling between the XLS as compared to the um, uh, amp. And, but overall, there's nothing different there. Um, I didn't see any major differences in the feed neck. And the only other thing that I'd like to mention is obviously how you remove the bolts. So you wanna show us that, Kim? Yeah, so it's just a simple, um, again, twist, straight out. And the XLS, there is a button on the back. You press that and it pops out and you pull your XLS out via the back like that. And as, so, as I understand it, with the amp, you can then like, because it still holds a shot once you've degassed mm -hmm. the gun, but you can twist and bleed it yes. with that. Yep, yep, yep. So that's something that you can't do with the Shocker XLS, which is another nice feature of the amp. Um, the main thing that I like to point out as far as removing the bolt system is that there was issues with the latch mechanism mm -hmm. on the Shocker XLS as far as like you'd be shooting and the bolt would kind of pop out the back. So. I'm hoping that they've eliminated that issue with the amp, right? Yeah. Um, again, this is this style of bolt um, latching system that they have here for the amp is uh, very similar, if not almost exactly the same as the adrenaline, um, which I have had zero issues with um, with the actual latching system or having bolts pop out or anything at all. Um, I think they got rid of that when they went to this turn style. Good. Good. Yeah. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Um, the board is the same. There's no differences in the board. It's basically an OLED board in the back. There's a power button to turn it on. Is mine on? Yeah, zero's on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there you have it there. There's no differences as far as that goes, except for obviously the major differences of taking it apart. Yeah. Um, but all your selections and all that stuff are going to be the same. And overall, I'm very impressed with the amp. Yes. Tyler, you, your first impressions of it since you just got it today? Um, it's beautiful. I mean, pictures don't do it justice. Um, shooting it was great. It feels great. Again, I didn't. I have not been able to shoot one until today. Um, I wasn't able to shoot any of the prototypes. I seen everything. I was jealous that everybody got to shoot them. Um, and I'm sitting I'm here like, man, I love Obviously. shockers. I didn't even get to shoot one yet. Um, but no, it's a it's a great marker, um, and I'm ready to use it for next year. Good. Get the CC frame and 
go back to ICPL and do ICC and yeah. do some next tournaments. Yep, and the CC frame should be available soon. Look at me, I'm still literally putting this back <laughs> together. So they'll be releasing a CC frame for it soon. The last thing I'd like to do uh, is weigh the guns before we go out and shoot them. So we have our trusty scale here. I'm gonna grab it real quick. I'm gonna zero it out. Okay, Tyler, why don't you do the honors here? What are we at, Doug? 1.11.9. So one pound, 11.9 ounces. Okay, all right. And are we zero? Zero. Okay, here is the XLS. 1.11. It was eight, now it just went up to nine, but okay. yeah, now it's back down to eight. So okay. it's a hair heavier. <laughs> okay, so there you have it. It's basically the exact same weight. Um, but overall, the amp improvements have been pretty significant. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so with that said, we are going to shoot both of these markers. We're going to do a shooting comparison video. Here we go. All right, guys, we're here with a Shocker XLS. This is our Punisher's Store Edition number one. And we have Tyler here again with his blue Shocker amp that he just received. And we are going to do a shooting video of the XLS compared the, to the Shocker amp. So here we go. This is a controlled environment, so we're not wearing masks. How's the uh, FPS on these suckers? Yeah, so you want to crown on yours yep. first? 284, 284, there it is. All right, and then for me, 270, 281, 281. So Ryan, the 280 range, and we're both shooting uh, GI three star paintballs. There you go. All, All right, right, buddy. Swap hands. Swap it up here. All right, so I'll say this. This is way smoother. <laughs> this is way smoother. I feel like that probably sounds quieter, right? It's a shorter sound. It's, it's a, like a muffled. This it's a muffled, right. Yeah. But this is definitely like when you shoot it in the hands, it feels I mean, smoother. Yeah, one-handed. It's so funny, the kick. So when you guys were doing the single shots, the yeah. kick for the amp is like delayed. Whereas yeah. like the kick for the XLS seems a lot more immediate. I think the kick for this is more backwards than mm -hmm. it is up and down, yeah. whereas the XLS is more up this and down. This more goes into, the amp goes more into the shoulder versus mm. this actually trying to, yeah. almost like a barrel rise. Yeah, and I feel like our tanks might be, our tanks are right around the same size. Yeah, so. these are both 68. Yep, so, all right, here we go. All right, you guys, there you have it. That is the Shocker XLS versus the Shocker Amp. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Tyler, thank you for being yeah, here. I appreciate evening. it. And uh, if you guys like the Shocker Amp, please head over to PunishersPB.com to purchase one today as it qualifies for overnight shipping and these are becoming readily available. Uh, if you would like to trade in an old marker for the Shocker Amp, please contact us as well on our marker trade-in form. And we will see you guys next time. Make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media.